folks, it is December 2021. We're approaching the busiest, best time of the year to travel to Medellin. It's gonna get it real fast now. I mean, it gets packed here in Medellin from people all over the world. Let's check this out. Okay, so I walk this uh, pathway every single day. I just love it. You see entertainers here in the street. You know, I love that they're working for their money. They're trying to set up a handout. This is great. And you know what I notice is that they do anything to make some money. That's just, I admire that. I mean, they sell gum, they'll sell fruit, they'll do tricks. And I, I love that other than handout. Yeah, we got a few panhandlers, but Nothing like where I'm from in Texas and Houston. It's just, this is great to see people working, actually trying to do something. So, so this is one of my, I don't know, secret pathways. It's near a little river or a little Rio here. And I love it, but you gotta be careful. So like, keep your little keys in your hand or something like this to stay safe. <laughs> Cause it's very secluded, but I never had any problems. And I'm only five foot seven. <clears throat> so yeah, great. Let's check out this bus. Look at this new tour buses that came here to Medellin just recently. Yeah, these buses look like the ones from San Francisco. They're clean, they got air conditioning, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, compared to the buses that we had in the past, uh, these look actually pretty comfortable, pretty comfy. They're parked right here in front of uh, Parque Poblado. I don't have any of Poblado, about a couple of blocks from Parque. Yeah, this one's pretty cool too. They're always out of here. You know, they got, this is a local tour bus, no windows. <laughs> I don't even think that's legal. So now we're in uh, Par Parque Ballerina. This is my favorite tree, by the way. So look at the roots on it. It's amazing. It's looking out of the movies. And yeah, it gets uh, literally secluded over here. But I've never had any problems. You know, you don't, don't have anything valuable and you're okay. You know, mind your own business. <laughs> Some cool artwork, graffiti. <laughs> so when you get to the top, uh, Ballerina Park has multiple levels. Look at this view. It has a like a 270 degree angle view, it's amazing. And it really is nice and safe up here. Like I said, it's three level park. Like it's up a mountain and dogs come up here. They're all running around in the bushes. Check them out. They're just having a good time. It reminds me how important it is in life just to, you know, slow down and enjoy the, the smallest things in life. All right, so let's get going. It's Sunday and Sunday they close the streets off here. It's amazing, one of the biggest streets here, Avenida Poblado, and people come together, they socialize, there's vendors, there's artists, and it's just a fun way to meet people, get some exercise, it's really shaded as you can see, and it's cool, man. Uh, thing is you could buy like a Hugo here for like a dollar, and you know, don't be afraid to start a conversation with someone, it's the perfect, healthy way to meet some good people you know have something interesting to say wear something interesting and <laughs> have a good time come with a good attitude look at this picture we got a little bit of rain look at this double rainbow i found oh isn't it amazing just thumbs up for that well i'm about to take off folks i thought i'd show you this big old graffiti on a building look at that that's pretty nice here yeah grab me some fruit hello ladies wow there's some beautiful women here and beautiful people in general, but wow. Okay, so let's go check this out. I'm gonna give me a cup of coffee before I take off. This guy, he owns this little bitty like, hole in the wall. It's really cool. This coffee cost me about 50 cents, cappuccino. Really cool place. It's right by Parque Ballerina. About five blocks, four blocks from Parque. It's really different when you get away from Parque. It's, so yeah, let's enjoy this coffee. I got a coffee, it has some natural sugar. He's showing me that, you know, where he got it from and what, what uh, part of the country he got it. All right, folks, it was a good one, man. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, I have a little moto here. If you get a motorcycle, highly recommend it. They hold their value, a little dangerous, but you know, see you next one. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our video here on YouTube or ColumbiaTips.com. Our goal here is to educate the world about how beautiful it is here in Colombia, how economical and how safe it is. We have a bad rep from the 80s and 90s that just has not left our loving Colombia. So we want to paint a different picture, but I need your help. I need you to smash that like button and if possible, even comment below. Let us know what you th what did you think about this video and where would you like us to review?
review next? Where would you like to us to go next in our next video? Engage, engage, engage. And the reason why is as the more engagement the video gets, the higher it gets in the ranking of YouTube. So do us a big favor. I need your help, guys. We need to get these tourism fired back up for our mom and pop shops here in Colombia. I see you guys on the next one. Peace and love. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.